So Douglas is off to Scotland for a second time this year. Excuse me, I need to know the name of this guy. Is he for real? <laughs> <laughs> He's visiting his home area on the Ayrshire coast and also crossing to Edinburgh. He tells me he's reading a biography of James the Sixth and First, which is hot off the press. Looks like he's staying at the Seamill Hydro yet again. No wonder, with superb views across the water to the Isle of Arran and its proximity to walks along the beach up to the hamlet of Portoncross and its 14th century castle. We Scots defeated those pesky Norwegians at the Battle of Largs in 1263. This is Mr. Uh... Koryakin. Well, they sure do come up with beautiful names, don't they? I like it. I am Ilya Kuryakin. I am also an enforcement agent. Like my friend Napoleon, I go and I do whatever I am told to by our chief. This visit to Scotland was a trip down memory lane in more ways than one. Douglas learned of the death of David McCallum. He used to watch The Man from Uncle on TV in the 1960s. He also thinks that the actor was a distant relation of his mother's elder brother's wife. A depressed and ill James V, he retired to Falkland Palace, where he learned of the birth of his uh, baby daughter on the 8th of December 1542. And on learning on the birth of a female heir, James, he uttered the now famous words, it can with a lass and it will gang with a lass. And that's a reference to the beginning of the Royal Stuart line through Robert the Bruce's daughter, Marjorie Bruce. And now that James V had a female heir, he was convinced that it would be the end of the Stuart line. And I mean, to be fair to the guy, the, the Stuart men, they had absolutely smashed it up to that point. Surprise, surprise. 
Douglas managed to resist the temptation to buy a book in one of his favorite bookshops. Thank you so much for watching. You get extra points for making it all the way to the end of the video.